top, everything, everything, you know it. King already, already, you know it. Shine already, it's time already. Align already, it's time already. Shine already, it's time already. All right, well, Queen Bay is back. That's exactly right. You just saw a bit of Beyonce's video for uh, 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 Already, which is a song from her new visual album, Black is King. We'll get to that in a bit, but first I have my queens with me, Erica Cobb and Lindsay. It's weird to say. Uh, joining <laughs> us from home, it's lovely to see you two queens. Let me help you out, yeah. Tori. But first, I have my queens. Thank you. Me, Tori Shulman and Lindsay Granger. How y'all doing, Thank queens? Thank you. I appreciate that. It was well done. Hey. Thank you. It was a weird thing to say. Uh, as we mentioned, Queens, Beyonce debuted her new visual album, Black is King, on Disney Plus last night. Critics are praising the album, with some calling it, quote, a breathtaking celebration of ancestry on Instagram. So Beyonce wrote that the timing of the album's release also takes on new significance in the current climate. And in case you missed her, yes. That was Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy, who makes an appearance. Hello there. Uh, what do you think of Black is King being released right now, Erica? S brilliant, smart, coincidental, not so great? It's so Beyonce. It's so Beyonce. Beyonce is either right before or right on time. She is never, like, <laughs> dragging behind something. Uh, you know, I think it's really important that these images of the way that she's imagining um, up this... Black, I mean, really, it's it's Africa, it's the diaspora, and um, it's important that people see kings and queens. So um, the way that the stories are told when we're growing up or the images that we see, we don't see ourselves coming from greatness, mm. from um, a sense of regality, if that's even a word. Yeah, it is. So, you know, Beyonce just always gets it right. It's beautifully done. It is beautifully done. Lindsay, as an art history major like I am, my mom's an art teacher at the National Gallery of Art. To me, this is like, I could spend a semester studying one scene. I mean, she's so deliberate and so particular about the Im images and symbols that she puts in. It's almost like a masterpiece of art, am I right? Right, I think Beyonce has hit like a maturation in her career over the last few years where she really is just owning the exploration, like Erica said, of the African diaspora and what it means to be black and showing these regal images as opposed to many of the images that we learn about people of color as either civil rights, or, well, in America, as either civil rights or um, slavery. And so yeah. I think when she goes to Africa and shows a lot of these different looks of regalness and brilliance and, you know, smart looks and extracurricular activities, it just makes you want to be a part and understand it more and learn more about this culture. And a lot of people look at Africa as a third world continent sometimes, and it's absolutely not. And so I think she's doing a great job highlighting that. Black is king. I love it.